finger finger skate selective bing 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 finger skate selective bing 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 finger skate selective FSS's tape and box workshop shop 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 all right welcome to the workshop today we're gonna build a half pipe out of an empty shoe box make sure it's not a full shoe box because you don't want shoes in there I got an empty one here from some work shoes that I bought and I don't need it anymore you have to have a shoe box then get a knife you can use any kind of knife I have an exacto here these are super sharp so just be careful with the knives everyone you're gonna need some scissors be careful with those no running with them and you'll need tape duct tape I think would work best but this is what I have so this is what I'm gonna work with all right so you don't have to make one this way I'm just gonna make it how I can maybe I'll give you an idea of how you can make one and the reason I'm doing this I'm not saying you should make ramps instead of buying them because buying ramps is cool and there's a lot of good ones out there to buy I'm just making this because I want you guys to keep your options open I know not everyone that watches these videos is rich and nowadays it seems like people are getting more more and more into the mindset where the more you spend the better everything is and that just isn't the case so make do with what you got be creative and let's make a shoebox half pipe here we go first thing I'm gonna do is cut the lid off We're gonna do what we gotta do. Let me tear that off there. I'm gonna leave these in the flaps on, I think. So there's what I got. There's a little thumb hole or whatever tab in here so you can open the box easier. I'm gonna go ahead and tape that down. This is gonna be my writing surface side since there's nothing on it. So I'm gonna tape it from this side. So I'll get some tape. So let me tape that down. Make sure it's nice and flat. And I'll put a piece on this side. Doesn't matter. It'll be flat. So there, that's shut now. There's no weird hole. Maybe your box won't have one of those, so it's all good. Next thing I'm gonna do is kind to curve this a little bit and see what we got to work with so it's all the way around like that and it should fit almost perfect in the box I'm gonna set it down in there and it's not gonna be able to come up to the edges but I'm gonna see about where it's good at all right so it's gonna be a real shallow one this one's gonna be like a mini ramp so now I'm gonna take my knife and I'm gonna cut a slot down here towards the bottom it comes almost all the way down to the bottom, but not not quite. Or maybe pretty darn close. And I'll show you why I'm doing this here in a minute, and I'll show you the better angle here. See how that comes almost down to the bottom? Big rectangle open hole like that? I'm going to put one right at the other side, too. I'll show you in a minute why I'm doing this. And be super careful with the knife, everyone. I would be sad to hear that one of you cut yourself because of doing something stupid I told you to, so please be careful. Now here's the lid again, remember? And I have two holes cut like that, almost all the way to the bottom. To cut them really easy with your knife, almost all the way to the bottom, just like that. So then when you put this piece in there, and center it up really, really good. You see? Now you can see your piece you just put in there. And now you can be really, really easy and put tape through there and it'll hold down the very bottom middle of your ramp. So make sure it's centered super duper good, as good as you can get it. And this is going to be the tricky part, putting the tape through there. I think I'm going to feed it through upside down. Once I have the tape through there, I'm going to try and flip it over. And I did it. So now I have the tape through, and I actually got it through there. I'm going to press it down on the inside so it's flat. Now I have it taped, so the lid part is taped down in there. So now I'm going to put another piece through there, just so it's held tight. Now I have two pieces of tape holding the lid down in there, and they're actually pretty flat in there. Can you see it? Now I'm going to see where my ramp comes up at, about how high, and I'm going to trim the excess. You never want to take a whole side off. That will ruin the integrity of the box. So figure out where the top of your ramp comes up to, and cut it about that high. Mine's about to there, and cut it all the way around. I'm going to use my knife for this, and I'm going to be extra careful. So as you can see, it's a mini of a mini ramp. And I didn't get it very even, but that's okay. Now this is kind of wavy, so I'm gonna try and get that a little bit straighter. Can you see what our ramp's starting to look like? Now I've got a newspaper. 
I'm crunching it up like that. I'm going to lift up one end. I'm going to shove that under there. Now that I have my paper support underneath, I'm going to go ahead and tape down the lip right where I think it needs to be. So that's taped down. I'm going to put one more piece just to hold it really, really good. I'm going to tape this side. I'm going to put one more piece just so I know it's held really good. Now once you have paper in there and it's held good and it's taped up really nice and sturdy and your middle's taped because you have holes here, now go right from where your the deck of your ramp is, follow it down to the bottom of this hole. Don't cut all the way back to the corner off, just follow the ramp down to here. See how I only followed where it was? So you want to be sure only to follow the ramp down. Don't cut the whole side off or it'll weaken the whole thing. There's a half pipe. Now you can put more tape on it if you want. Like here and here where there is no tape. Just throw a piece on there. Make sure it's flat on the riding surface part. There you go, there's a pretty beefy cardboard half pipe. Pretty light, so we're gonna tape it down, then we'll try it out. 